Welcome back inside the Dean East Smith Center once again as we get ready for the men's scrimmage here tonight with Late Night with Carolina Basketball. Take a look at Team White. We talked about Brady, uh, Brady Manick, one of the newcomers to this team, a transfer who could have a really big impact from day one. For Team Blue, the other big pop as people came out was the guy in his third year now, Armando Baycott. You know, that's a really great point because there was no late night last year. Last season, until the last two games, there were no fans in the Smith Center. This is the first time that everybody has gotten a chance to get in here, get loud. He's a junior. He's got to make that statement this season. We need to see him finish stronger. Missed by Davis, picked up by Baycott. Quickly back the other way. Caleb Love elevated. Now, this is no surprise to us, but again, we just need to see that at a consistent level throughout the rest of the season. I think the thing with Caleb, is exactly what you said, is consistency. There were games where he absolutely took over. I think of that Duke game over in Durham where he was the reason that they won. I think that that's exactly right. You know, it's just going to come with age, a little more experience coming into this season. And again, I think he just kind of understands what it means to be a big time player. And that consistency is such a huge part of it. And I think that we're going to see that from him this season. Manic, the transfer from Oklahoma, said, I can do more than just shoot outside. Nice little touch on that turnaround. Picks up Walton on the switch, but Walton will knock down the mid-range jumper. He's picking off right where he left off in that three-point contest. Harris with a baseline drive for the reverse, kisses it off the glass. And we're going to need that explosiveness to attack the basket this season. Harris now in his third season, dealt with some injuries last year, played in 16 games. Nice little look there from Walton, and a two-handed slam for Baycock. Davis running point right now for the white team. Little hesitation, but with Baycott on him, kicks it over to the corner. Three for Manic. This is Dontrell Styles, the freshman. He's gonna get the long offensive rebound and now put it back up himself and knock it down. Of uh, you know being nervous out there. He, he's not shy. He's gonna take shots. I think that we're gonna expect a lot from this freshman this season. Nice little baseline turnaround there from Manic. He's got three buckets in the game. Baycock going to step out for three. So look what I can do. Absolutely no hesitation there. See, you're going to try another three this time. It's true. Boy, gonna try a three of his own. Back and forth they go. Off the dribble, starting in the corner. So again, I think that we're gonna see these bigs get a chance to do a lot more than we've seen from them in the past. And I know that Coach Davis is gonna be somebody that continues to push the defensive side of the ball. And we are gonna see some of these bigs. We're gonna see some of these bigs in switching situations. Davis looks to reset. DeMarco Dunn, the freshman from Arizona, on him. Here comes Blue. Nope, Leakey going to take it right back in midcourt. Numbers for White. Davis, through some contact, gets it to go. Davis thought about the three. Good job of fighting through that screen by the freshman, Dunn. Garcia with a spin to the baseline and gets a little floater. This is Jackson Watkins, the junior, out of Richmond, Virginia. Anthony Davis with a great read, out in transition, and gets the layup. Leaky back the other way. Davis able to beat his defender into traffic and gets the up and under. Love using the screen from Baycott, little two-man game here. Through contact, he's going to finish. Rebound, uh, rebound for the freshman, Dontrez Styles. You see Baycott going off the dribble from the top of the key once again. Styles going to take a three off the front iron. Styles out of Kings, uh, Kinston, North Carolina. He can follow in the footsteps of former Tar Heels who have come from that town. He's going to have himself a pretty good career. Jerry Stackhouse, Reggie Bullock already saw the women's scrimmage, saw a three-point contest, a little dancing in between as well. 
know, that's one thing that I missed. I miss seeing the, the guys get out here and do some of those chore choreographed <laughs> dances. Um, I'm sad that I didn't get to see that this year. I was going to ask, do you miss it because you actually want to see it or just because you had to go through it, you want to see them go through it? Kerwin a little bit strong on that three-point attempt. Rebounded by Leaky Black looking for the long outlet pass. Kerwin going to knock it away. Here comes the blue team. Love with a pull-up three, knocks it down. Leaky caught in the air, gets the ball back, takes a straightaway three, rebounded by Baycock. Love looking to attack, goes to the left hand, and he'll get it. How do you handle it? Are you just trying to play your normal game? Is it trying to work on things? What's the mentality? I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, I think a lot of people see this as some type of exhibition game. Baycott stuck under the basket, able to find some room though. There you go. Just continue to be aggressive on the block. Manic looked like he was going to give it up, loses the dribble as he gets into the paint. And Blue going to come away with it. Walton for love. Another three. That's a good sign for Carolina fans. Caleb taking more responsibility and knocking down a big time shot. In the games where Caleb was so big, you could just see the confidence building in him with every shot. Kerwin around the Baycott screen. Going to come back near side, a little bit strong. Rebounded by Black. Black going to take it coast to coast. And he's going to draw the foul. Baycott kicks it out. Walton off the three-point line. So worried about the three-point line, easy for you to get past the defender sometimes. And we talked about that, spacing the floor, knocking down threes. Boy guarding Manic. Cross-court pass to Davis. Thought about it second time, he'll knock it down. Lead has been as big as 12 for Blue. Right now it's at seven. Coy, spin move, left hand, and finishes. We really need to make sure that we pound that ball inside. Davis step back three, far side. He's got back-to-back -back threes. Part of his leadership is going to be taking more responsibility. A pump fake there, wide open in the corner for McCoy. Off the mark, Baycott with the offensive rebound and the jam. That's the type of finishes that we want to see from Armando Baycott. Davis immediately looking to attack the basket. Good ball movement here from White. Harris with a no-look pass down to Manic. That's beautiful basketball. What a look here for Manic, huh? Great unselfishness. Touch there from Dunn, knocks the ball away, but right to R.J. Davis, who will now take a three himself. Quick outlet from, uh, outlet from Baycott to McCoy, and he'll draw the foul. Yeah, and if you're going to take that transition three, you got to make sure that you feel confident enough to put that thing in. That's going to be a shot that Coach Davis is not going to be very happy about. Numbers ahead for Blue, for Baycott! White needs to go on a run of themselves. Biggest lead of the game right now for Blue. Garcia off the mark. Quickly back the other way. Another transition basket as Walton flushes it. Coach Davis does not like to see that defensive effort by the white team, giving up two dunks in transition. Davis with a bounce pass through traffic for Garcia. He'll finish with a left hand. It's a great pass by R.J. Davis. I think that's something that I've also been pretty impressed with watching him in practice is just his vision, being able to get guys the ball and in a position to score. Davis looking for a pull-up three, gets it. Gives it away to White. Deep this time for Davis. He pulled up from the Y in Roy Williams' court. Now, again, difficult shot. But I think that RJ's got the capacity to make it. And Blue has an opportunity here to finish the game. Styles brings it across half court and will set up the O. Styles, mid-range jumper, knocks it down, and that'll be the ball game. It's interesting to see the freshman hit the game-winning shot. 60-45, going to be the final as 
Blue wins the scrimmage here for the men's team.